added bubble. Pour in noodles, save some trouble. Flavor packet tastes so great. The longer will you have to wait? It's ramen, 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 ramen. Ramen, 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 ramen. Ramen, 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 ramen. Ramen, 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 ramen. Yeah. Okay. Look. Don't come at me. I know. I know. I know. It's been like seven thousand million years since. I've had a tasty Thursday. What, like a month, two? I don't even know. But check it out. I'm so excited. This Tasty Thursday. Look, this is like, this is a Tasty Thursday that is going to bring you to like, I don't know, it's, it's, look, it's going to take like five, five minutes. I ain't going to lie. It's going to take five minutes to cook. Okay. The thing that's going to be like the longest to cook is probably... The egg. I know, you're like an egg. Tasty Thursday with an egg. <sighs> but check it out. Oh my God. And so you're asking yourself, why does she have all these funky ingredients and ramen? But you have to get this one. Like it has to be the Nissen, nice and Nissen, whatever. No MSG added, chicken flavor. Like it has to be this one. It has to be, right? Okay, so <laughs> yeah, don't mind my green onions. They kind of look like my hair. <laughs> anyway, um, so check it out. So I'm gonna make gourmet ramen. I know. Ah! I'm excited. So check it out. Um, it's gonna have some chicken, some shrimp, some scallions, some corn, some eggs. It's gonna even have some carrots. It's gonna be good. Like, it's gonna take as long as the longest thing takes to cook. So if you like your, cause it's gonna be a boiled egg in it, right? So if you like your boiled eggs a little bit like, you know, kind of not too boiled, kind of a little bit like, I don't know how to say that. Not raw, cause it's not raw, but like not cocido. I don't know. I'm gonna look it up and I'm gonna put it right here because yeah. anyway, I'm thinking cocido and I'm like, you know, when my brain wants to think in Spanglish or Spanish, but, and then I'm going to cook the already cooked shrimp cause it's already cooked. And then the rotisserie seasoned chicken is already cooked, right? So the only really thing that I'm like waiting for is not only the ramen, but also the egg. And then we'll see because <laughs> this is about to be good. And then my daughter is going to be my taste tester. And I don't know if Caleb is going to do it. But I know Caitlin. She literally said, oh my God, I want to try it too. But we'll see. So Taylin, girl, girl. I hope that you're happy. Miss Wilder, I hope both of you are happy. Look, I'm doing this because they called me out. They called me out and they said, Irene, where's Tasty Thursday? What is going on with you, girl? So I was like, <laughs> they're like, I know you've been cooking because you've been eating, girl. And that's truth. So <laughs> anyway, without further ado, here's some gourmet ramen. Chef Irene in the kitchen. Okay, yeah, let's just get to cooking. You know, you know, you know me. I know you missed me. I know you did. I know you did. All right, here we go. We got our shrimp and a little simmer with some garlic and some butter, but it's not really butter because it's, I can't believe it's not butter. Yeah, I know, that's corny. But still, and then I have some garlic. Mira, I don't really like the birria one, but it's garlic. It's minced garlic. And then I have my egg over here boiling. Well, not boiling that, but, you know, in the water to boil. And then I have my other pot right here ready um, when it starts boiling to have my ramen. And then I have some sazonador total so that I can put some on the shrimp. So as this is cooking, I'm gonna let the shrimp cook up a little bit more. And I know that it's already cooked shrimp, but I like to put flavor in it. And then our egg is almost boiling. Oh, sorry, condensation or whatever the heck that's called. This is not condensation, evaporation, there you go. <laughs> I need to go back to fifth grade. Anyway, here is um, the scallions and I'm about to cut these. And I was, um, what is this called? Oh my God, peeling, peeling, the <laughs> I promise you. Um, it's late guys, it's real late. Not really. Anyway, but I, I was peeling my baby carrots. I just got like the nature's promise for kids, baby cut carrots. So that it gets easier. And then I'm going to open the corn. For me, I really like corn. What do you like about corn? It's corn. Like this is the 
crisp and sweet corn because the sweet corn is where it's at <laughs> period and yeah so i'm just gonna like just peel a little bit of this carrot and then like take like the como se llama? the shrimp is already done Okay, so I'm taking it off the burner. And then what I'm going to do also, look, I'm not even, <laughs> I'm not even the camera. I guess you don't really need me. You need this, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. But like, okay, so I'm just going to peel a little bit of it. And then I'm going to put it inside like the garlic, garlic butter. I can't believe it's not butter, butter, <laughs> right? And then I'm also going to put a little bit of corn with it too, because I'm going to cook it up a little bit because we want everything to be hot. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And then so that it could taste good. And the scallions a little bit too, you know, I'm going to put them in there. And yeah, so I'll see you in a minute. See you in a minute because this is about to be good. <laughs> it's about to be good. Look, I'm trying to like duplicate this ramen. We'll see how it goes because, <laughs> mira, I know I'm a professional chef and all, but it might not look like that. Anyway, stay tuned. Okay, guys, listen, this is a proper way of opening the can using the can opener this way look because then you get no ridges and it doesn't hurt okay so check it out can opener like this not like this like this not like this like this not like this okay cool all right all right so we finally have our water for our ramen boiling our egg boiling and our scallions cooking and then okay listen this is important don't throw this away because this is the flavor right here besides the stuff oh look guys so i started cooking all this stuff and i cooked it separately because we gotta you know we gotta do we gotta we gotta do okay so we put we drop in the ramen and don't make a mess <laughs> but we drop in the ramen and i'm only doing one packet because we're all sharing a little bit of it you know what i mean and it'll be good it'll be good it's just one packet is we're not trying to like you know impress nobody and make everything for everybody like that um we're just gonna taste a little bit you know what i'm saying because why not but you guys can make two three how many ever packets and don't make a mess yeah okay so i'm not gonna lie i had to put another pack of ramen because caleb was like i'm gonna try too so guess what guys you get to see caleb tonight he's gonna try it um, so here's the ramen and it's done. So I turned off my stove, but here are the ingredients. Look at how yummy that looks, guys. Look, we're making it gourmet. We're making it like, mira, we are going to, I don't know where ramen is from, Jap Japan. Look, I'm so sorry, guys. This is like for real. I need to like educate myself. But for real, for real, for real, for real. Um, and I'm pretty sure from that is from Japan. But we got my, our chicken. We've got shrimp. We've got our egg. We've got some carrots. We've got some scallions. And we got some corn. And we've got our plates. We got our plates. And then we have this chicken, you know, the chicken flavor. And we're about to take some of the water out of here. Because, you guys, we don't want watery ramen. Like, ew, who eats watery ramen? So, you'll stay tuned. Just stay tuned. Okay, so after further investigation, it originated from China, not Japan. So sorry, guys. Okay, so listen, being honest, we don't want all that salt in our food. So we're going to put that in there. We're going to put one packet and see how it tastes. Because all this other stuff that we made to make it gourmet literally has so much flavor in it, right? So whatever it is, if you want to put two packets, put two packets by all means. But I'm only putting one for now. And then if I have to put like at least a half of it, then I'll put a half of it and then I'll start serving it in the bowls. And then you guys will see it as it serves. And you know what? Look, to be honest, look, it looks kind of like, like Lipton soup. You need to stop. <laughs> I'm going to put a little more, a little more, un poquito más. Un poco más. But you know me, you know I'm a pussy sazonador total in there, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's good enough, I think. Let's mix it. Let's mix it, mix it. Yo, tell me that does not look delicious. Okay, and then, and then. We're going to put some sazonador total. We're going to put it in there. I don't know. Look, guys, I know, I know. I, I do that, that voice all the time, all the time. Okay, so there you have it. There's your ramen. Now let me plate it, and then I will show you the final results, and then... And then we're gonna eat because <laughs> you know tasty thursday <laughs> it's just not a tasty thursday without tasting it like let's be real 
because we got to see if it's tasty. I mean, ramen's good, but let's see if everything else. I mean, look, it's going to be good. It's going to be good because it's gourmet ramen. Like, how could it not be good? You know, and listen, for real, the longest prep time or the longest that took. Wait, I don't even know what I'm saying. What took the longest was the prep time of cutting the veggies and cutting all that stuff. You know, that's literally what took the longest because the egg only took 10 minutes to boil because I don't like it really, really, really hard boiled. And like, as you know, hard boiled eggs only take like 15 minutes if you want it really hard boiled. 10 minutes if you want it like in between, kind of like the one that I did. Que rico. And then I kind of sauteed everything else, right? The scallions, right? The carrots. I sauteed this, you know, I took out the tails, I cleaned them up because the lies and boot and boot and boot And then I got my corn and I got my chicken and then I have my ramen. So I'm about to plate it and then we're about to eat it. And mira, like, we're going to have Caleb's reaction. We're going to have my reaction. And you may not see Caitlyn's reaction, but you'll hear her reaction because you know how Caitlyn is. She don't ever want to be on the camera, but you know, whatever. One day, one day, we're going to get her one day. But stay tuned, stay tuned because you're going to see the plate because <laughs> you got to make it look good. Gotta make good, you know, because it's gourmet. Gourmet in your kitchen. You're like, mira what I made. <laughs> Chef Irene. Chef Irene in the cut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay, this is the final product. Look, don't get at Caleb because you know he's a picky eater. That's literally what he wanted on his little. Caitlin doesn't like um shrimp and she decided no carrots but look at this plate y'all stop playing hold on let me put it in the light look at that that looks so delicious and then you know what's hold on because we gotta finish it up hold on because you know we gotta put a little sasso all right let's see all right guys that looks delicious okay we're gonna put a little bit in caitlin's maybe not so much on caleb's because he doesn't really like it but OMG! So stay tuned because I'm gonna let you know if it's good because it looks good already. It looks good. It looks good. All right, so we're about to taste. So you see, Caleb, Caitlin, show your fork or your finger, your hand, something. <laughs> so she's there too. She's here. So okay, so Caleb, um, look, I did my shirt, guys. Yeah, it looks like a Naruto bowl. <laughs> Naruto bow. Okay, look. Stop. Ooh. Okay, ready? Ready, guys? Ready? I have the tiniest plate. Yeah. Let me tell you. Okay, I'm gonna have some with like, I feel like the chicken and the shrimp. Let me see. Mm. All right. Mmm. <laughs> Flavors are melting on my tongue. Mm. Okay, that's really good. For real, guys. Like. I had some shrimp only and a little bit of chicken. What do you think, Caleb? Put scallions in the carrots. The carrots are like. They're crunchy, but it's good. It was good. It's okay, Caleb. Busting. <laughs> you heard it here first. She said it was busting. Caleb said it was crunchy, but it's good. We're about to keep eating because, look, wait, let me taste some with like the scallions and the. In the corner, just, oh my gosh, you guys! Like, mm -hmm. that's real good. And you know, being honest, all these flavors aren't overpowering or anything, right? I feel like it's really like it's not too salty. It's not too like too much. Like it's it's. Uh, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, go make it, because she literally just said, "Chef's kiss," right? Chef's kiss. So there you have it. Another Tasty Thursday with Caitlin in the, <laughs> in the sidelines. Caleb and I tasting it. And I hope you enjoyed it. Look, I'm sorry I was gone for so long, but like I came back with a bang. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. You know, you know me. I know you missed me. I know you did. I know you did. Now go make it. I'm going to leave the ingredients like right now, like over there. Because we're about to eat and see you guys later. Right? Yeah. We're not later. But, yeah, later. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye. bye. <laughs> boop. 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 Sense. It's
some water, let it bubble. Pour in noodles, save some trouble. Flavor pack, it tastes so great. No longer will you have to wait. It's ramen, 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 ramen. Ramen, 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 ramen. Ramen, 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 ramen. Ramen, 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 ramen. I keep my cupboards nicely full of ramen noodles. Want a bowl? And though I may eat other foods, there's no 